So in this problem, we're told that the notes A and E on a piano correspond to the fundamental frequencies of their strings being 440 hertz and 659 hertz. And we're first asked what the third harmonic of A and the second harmonic of E, uh, what their frequencies are going to be. Now in order to show what these are, I'm actually just going to generally prove that um, the nth harmonic on a piano string is just going to be n times um, the uh, initial fundamental frequency. And the reason for that is that on a piano string, both ends are clamped down. So what that means is that as it vibrates, there have to be nodes at either end. So that means that, you know, if this is going to be the fundamental frequency, this is going to be the first harmonic, and so on. And each of these corresponds to um, an integer multiple of one half wavelength. So what that means is that the length of the string has to be equal to lambda over 2 times n for any uh, nth harmonic. Now what we also know is that um, the speed of the wave along the, um, along the string has to be equal to nu, the frequency, times lambda, the wavelength. And so what this tells us is that uh, lambda is equal to v divided by nu. And so then we can plug this into here. We get v over nu over 2 times nu times n is equal to L, which is uh, the same as saying that um, nu, the frequency of the wavelength, or the frequency of the uh, harmonic, is equal to n times v over 2L. Now if we pull out the n, we get the frequency is equal to n times v over 2L, but 2L, remember, is just the wavelength of the fundamental, um, of the first fundamental frequency. And so what that tells us is that nu, um, the frequency of any harmonic, is equal to n times v over lambda 1 is equal to n times nu 1, the fundamental frequency. And so what that tells us is that nu 3a, the third harmonic of a, is just going to be 3 times 440, or 1320 hertz. And nu 2e, the second harmonic of e, is just going to be 2 times 659, which is 1318 hertz. So now, in part B, uh, we're told that the tuner of this particular piano tunes um, the A string very precisely to uh, 440 hertz using a tuning fork, and then is going to tune the E string by listening to the beats between the second and third harmonics. And so in part B, what we're asked is, what is the correct beat frequency going to be uh, when both A and E are correctly tuned? And so we know that the beat frequency um, it's just going to be nu is equal to the difference between the frequencies of uh, the third harmonic of A and the second harmonic of E. So that's just going to be nu 3A minus nu 2E. And so the B frequency, when the, both of them are tuned correctly, is going to be just 2 hertz. Finally, in part C, we're told that as the uh, tuner is tuning the E string, the E string starts a little bit low, uh, and that as, it, um, as she tightens the string, uh, at one point she hears that the beat frequency is equal to 4 hertz. And we're asked what the frequency, um, or the fundamental frequency, of the string is uh, when that is the case. And so if the beat frequency is 4 hertz, then we get that nu times 3a, or nu of 3a, minus nu of 2e, is equal to 4 hertz, uh, which tells us that nu 2e is equal to 4 hertz, uh, is equal to nu 3a minus 4 hertz, which is, uh, as we know, 1320 hertz minus 4 hertz. Or 1300, 
16 hertz. And since we proved here that um, no matter what the uh, frequencies of the harmonics have to be integer multiples of the fundamental frequencies, this tells us that new E of the string, um, as she's tuning it up, is going to be um, 13, 16 divided by 2 hertz, or 658 hertz. And so these are going to be our final answers.